If you're having difficulty in figuring out which stitch to crochet into at the very end of your row and also how to keep track of your rows, I'm going to show you how to mark them just using a plain old safety pen. So make your slip knot and we're just going to do some single crochet here to make it simple. So what you want to do is the very first chain you want to just take your safety pin. So there's my slip knot, and there's my first chain stitch right there. And I'm just going to take a small safety pin and just put it right in there. Okay, I'm going to continue with my designated amount of chains for my project, which I'm just going to do five for a little sample here. Okay, let's do single crochet. So I'm just going to make one turning chain. All right, now you're going to skip that first chain because that's your turning chain. And for single crochet, go into the second chain from your hook and create your stitch. So once you make your stitch, you'll see a V. And you just want to take your the, your next safety pin, since that's the first stitch of the row, and you just want to put the safety pin right into the V of that stitch. And then you'll just continue to the single crochet all the way across. Okay, now to mark my row, I'm at the third stitch right here. This is the stitch that I just created. That's the front of it. There's the top of it right there with the V. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a safety pin here. And I'm just going to mark, mark that front of the stitch with the safety pin. Continue along, stitch number four. Okay, and here's stitch number five. Now, sometimes it gets confusing because by the time you get to the end, um, it might be confusing, you know, the slip knots there and the stitches there and you just get all confused. So this way here, it's clearly marked with a safety pin. You know exactly what is your last stitch right here. So just take, take out that safety pin and stitch right into that. Single crochet right into that last stitch. Okay, and there you go. So there's the end of your row. And again, you've marked your very first stitch this safety pin in the front is where you've marked your row. So you know that that's row one. I'm going to make a turning chain. And I'm going to single crochet into the very first single crochet right there. You don't forget to skip your turning chain. And just single crochet right into that. And again, you just want to mark the first stitch of every row. So I'm going to grab my safety pin here and just put it right into the top of that V. So that when I come back around, I know exactly where to stitch into. Okay, I'm going to continue along here. This is my third stitch of the row, and it's right in the middle of the five stitches. So, again, I'm going to mark my row this time by just putting this safety pin right into 
the very front post of that stitch. Okay, that marks row two. Oops, I have spliced my yarn with that safety pin. Let me put that back in there. Just keep crocheting across stitch number four and here's stitch number five and you can kind of see how it gets a little confusing at the end you here's that V stitch but sometimes people get confused on this on this right here that little nubby part which is actually the turning chain so we know that we want to do our last stitch right into the V here, so we're just going to take that out. And crochet right into that. And we're back to the end of the row. And so looking back at this, we've got our five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. And that very first one we've marked. And in the front here, we've got the safety pin marking the second row. So if we flip it, there's the first row, and there's the second row. Make your turning chain, and we'll make this our last row here. Okay, now we want to single crochet into the second single crochet from the hook and this marks our very first stitch so we want to mark that V let me take out my hook I just want to mark that V with the safety pin. Okay. And keep crocheting across. I'm right in the middle, so that's my third stitch. And again, I'm just gonna mark that very front of that post of that single crochet with the safety pin to mark my third row. And just resume across. Get that the head of that safety pin out of my way there. There we go. And we're back here at stitch number five. So again, this is where people get confused. There's that very last V stitch to work into where the safety pin is at. But a lot of times everyone gets confused on this little nubby part, which is again, the turning chain. So I know I wanna go right into that V. Now, if you need to, you can always just put your hook in <laughs> If you get confused, you know, when you take it out, and you can go ahead and make the stitch. Whoops. Lost it there. Okay. And then you can take it out if you want to do it that way. There we go. Okay. So again, you've got your five stitches, five, four, three, two, and you've marked that very first one right there. So that when you turn and work back across, you have that very last stitch marked so that you don't get confused. And so you can see here where I've 
work the rows, this safety pin down here is row one, row two, back here, and row three, right at the top right there. I hope those little tips help.